Galatasaray Televizyonu'ndan herkese merhaba sevgili seyirciler. Bugünkü konuğum 7'den 77'ye. Herkesin kalbinde tat kurmuş. Çok özel bir oyuncumuz var. Tabii ki de Fernando Muslera var yanımda sevgili seyirciler. Bugün sadece ve sadece taraftarlarımızdan sizden gelen soruları kendisine aktaracağım. Nacizane İspanyolca soracağım. İngilizce konuşacağız. Ve tabii ki de 12 yıl burada geçirdiği için de Türkçe birkaç cümle kendisinden alacağım sevgili seyirciler. Şimdi lafı daha fazla uzatmak istemiyorum ve kendisine hoş geldin deyip röportajımıza geçelim derim. Hola Nando, bienvenida y gracias por ser nuestro invitado. Así que comenzamos. Teşekkür ederim. Hoş bulduk. Hoş bulduk. Welcome Nando. I'm so appreciated that you let us do this interview. I know that you got a very intense schedule at the moment. So I'm appreciated. I'm glad to have you. I'm going to ask you all the questions going to be from all fans. From all Tarafta. Great. My first question: If you go back the day you signed for Galatasaray, August 2011, have you ever imagined that you're gonna stay long years, many years in Turkey? Well, <laughs> uh, no, for sure, for sure not. When you first sign from for, Gal for Galatasaray in this case or any club, you just have your day signature and the expired date. So I never expect to be longer. Uh, almost 10, 11 years now and uh, I'm really so proud and so happy to, to be here in a huge family of, of Galatasaray. You know that Galatasaray has a traditional uh, of successful foreign goalkeepers. For example, Simovic, Tafera, Mondragon, mm -hmm. and Yi. What would you say? Well, this is also uh, make me feel so proud because being in the huge story of uh, Galatasaray, not only in goalkeepers and the names you said, most of them I, I met, most of them I saw them play, and uh, really being in the Let's say same line. Mm -hmm. It's made me feel really, really proud of the hard work I did during this time. So you won 14 cups in 11 seasons, you know, at Galatasaray, and this is almost more than a museum club has, <laughs> you know that. So no doubt, it is a great honor. Yeah, uh, if you if you look, if you go to the archives, I think you can find uh, my, I think my first interview in Florida, and I say it, I came. To Turkey, I came to Galatasaray to win titles. Uh, it's what I wanted. It's what I'm. It's what I am playing for. Uh, really, I, I'm so happy, and uh, of course, I thanks all the teammates and coaches I had, you know, all this time. But it's what I did. Is uh, I am really happy, and I want to continue until the, the end of my career.
sonuna bir halka daha ekliyor. Türksel Süper Kupa. Şampiyon Galatasaray. 2017-2018 sezonu şampiyonu Galatasaray. Galatasaray'ın 21. Süper Lig şampiyonluğu. Okay, so if you go back to your childhood, he wants you to be a goalkeeper, your dad, your family, your coach. When no, you started? No one, actually. <laughs> no one. Uh, even me, I didn't like. Uh, I was until 11 years old, I was a player. You know, when you're young, you only want to run behind the ball and hit it as long as you can. Yes. And, uh, but one day, the, the keeper didn't come to the training or game day, I don't remember. And uh, the coach told me, Nando, you are the tallest one. You, would you <laughs> like to go? And I say, no, I don't like to be in the goal. Uh, I don't like to receive any goal. Uh, that I was crying when I received a goal. So made me feel so bad. And then they convinced me by playing half time on the goal and half time on the pitch. So that's why I, and then, you know, when you start to meet people and, uh, and know a lot of guys uh, who talk to you about the goalkeeper, uh, then you become into and of course when you start to be or be selected for the national mm -hmm. teams mm -hmm. or everything then you take it serious. Wow, it's cool. Then I'm, I'm going to ask you who you inspired when you, you start at the beginning of the goalkeeper. Well, I have two, two goalkeepers uh, and then I, I can say three because yeah. the one of them I met here. But uh, first is Fabian Carini, he's uh -huh. a Uruguayan national team goalkeeper. Uh, of course, in my childhood, he was the, the one for my country. Mm -hmm. The second one is Oscar Cordoba. He used to play in uh, Besiktas here. Uh, but when he was in Boca Juniors in Argentina, uh, it was the time that he made me feel so, so good, seeing him on the goal and made me feel like I want to be like him, you know? Yeah. And uh, of course, the third one, I saw him play not too much, but when I met him here in Galatasaray, Tafarel, uh, I know he's a legend for Brazil, yes. he's a legend for this club and, uh, and it was also a pleasure to meet him, uh, yes to meet him. What about Tafarel? How was the feeling working with him? Working with him was amazing, amazing uh, in every sense, in every sense. He's a really, first of all, really good man, human, uh, family member, you know, he's a really good father and uh, I met that kind of person. Then. Of course, when we went to the pitch and he started to show with me what he learned mm -hmm. uh, through his whole career, mm -hmm. uh, it was amazing. But uh, the most important thing about Tafo is he f his way of being. You know, every morning you come here, maybe you are tired, you're injured or you don't mm -hmm. want to train. Mm -hmm. And you know, with his attitude, with his, uh, you know, I don't know how people can be all day happy. Okay, tough it was. And he pushed me and he pushed all the goalkeepers to, to enjoy the training, you know. And I think this was the, the main part of him. Uh, of course, he's a legend in football, no? Yes. He worked, yes. he had won a, a World Cup, so this is mean a lot for a football player. So I'm going to ask you in Spanish. 
Yeah. Are you ready? I will ask for a bike in Spanish <laughs> as well. So. All right. Tú eres nombrar el mejor once que hayas jugado en el Galatasaray. Oh, mm. difícil. <laughs> difícil. It's really difficult. Ever? Nah. Ever in 12 seasons. Impossible. Make it. Impossible because I, will. I, I will be unfair with some no, teammates. No, no, yeah, no, then no, I will no. receive the call. I will receive the calls for the ones I will let him Mr. outside. Let, let I me cannot, know. I cannot, let I cannot, I cannot. No, I cannot. Yes, it's impossible, it. impossible. Hey. Hey. I, I met, I think I met the best players uh, I had played before. I, I will be not fair if I let some of them outside, you know. I think it's really hard to do it because I will put also Tafarel on the goal, you know. And I will be angry with myself. All right, all right, all right. I'm not, I'm not going to push you. No. Okay. Undoubtedly, you know, there are ups and downs in your 12 years and what was the most difficult time in your life? Well, um, I think when I got injured uh, from my leg, if, if we talk about personal, uh, I think 2020, uh, 14 June 2020, it was the worst day of my life and then it's coming suddenly, you know, mm -hmm. I lost my mom mm -hmm. in the same year. So mm -hmm. I think this period, it was the, the one that I want to forget as mm -hmm. soon as possible. And, uh, but when we talk about uh, Galatasaray, for sure, this season, uh, I never been uh, during these 11 years in, in this position in the ranking. Mm -hmm. So I hope they will solve it soon and mm -hmm. uh, everything mm -hmm. from as soon as possible, we can get it from the next season. You know, unfortunate injuries last two seasons and you have come back stronger ever then what was your motivation how have you provide your motivation to come back so much stronger than ever first of all i will always say it, and i said before i say thank you to dr jenner mm -hmm. uh, to all the staff who were carrying me uh, to father loja uh, who, who was mm -hmm. every single minute behind of me he went to serbia to I don't know, Macedonia, I don't know from where, to find out how to train with me with the uh, broken leg. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was really a part of my motivation, my family for sure. They were behind of me always. And uh, I think also my competitive spirit, mm -hmm. like to yes, show, we know that. <laughs> to show like uh, even I have some problems, I, I will be always the same. And I, will, mm -hmm. I want to come back stronger, I want to be there. And I want to show you that I'm still uh, powerful and of course it's, it's get the time to, to get 100%. I, th I think from my last injury I'm, I'm not still 100%. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm working so hard every day and I think this is the, the ball that I can you know, include yes. all the person who helped me uh, during this uh, bad period. We go back to your first season, to Manisa Sport game, away game. You remember, you took the penalty and you took the penalty trip to goal. What was the feeling? Describe Amazing. the moment. Uh, it's an unforgettable day, uh, for sure. Because then I, I knew the story why, but fans started to call me. Uh, and I was like, it's not, I am not in charge of penalty so I'm not going <laughs> what I'm going to do there and they were going on and going on and shouting on my name my name and suddenly I look at the coach Fatih Terim, Fatih Ojan, he look at me and he say go okay. but I didn't know why the reason okay I scored the goal everything fine and after the game I find that we find out that it was the only one who didn't score during the whole season yeah so 
Incredible. Turkey is incredible. Yes. Turkey is incredible. Yes. They find out every single details and yes. uh, it was amazing for it sure. It was outstanding. It was not amazing. It was outstanding, outstanding really. Exactly, yeah. So and I took, uh, I remember that I took the hat trick of Selçuk. <laughs> he yes. still, until last, uh, last year, he was talking to me about it and saying, you, you killed my, my hat trick those days. Mustera geliyor! Mustera! Mustera! Fernando Mustera! Golün adı Mustera! Manisa'da ağları sarsan Mustera! I think this is this is rare time, you know, as a goalkeeper, make it penalty and throw it and make a goal. Is it, you know, in the world? I mean, there are players, there are keepers so, who are used to shoot uh, free kicks or uh -huh. penalties or something. There is but for not sure, too much. It's rare. but not too much, yes. of course. But yeah, it was for me. It was uh, amazing because I love it, and uh, <laughs> you like it. I, I like it. I like it. Of course, I like to take the risks. You know, I like too much, and uh, it was an amazing feel because it was my first goal and my yeah. only one goal. And how do you feel in penalties, Mister? You know, penalties or free kicks are much more harder. Would you like to choose it? No, I mean, penalties are more difficult mm -hmm. because it's a one against one and you, don't, are, you are not in his mind. He has the control of the decision yeah. where he's going to shoot. So. But I feel relaxed because I always say that a keeper has nothing to lose in penalty. If he hit it and score, it will be really good shoot. But if we save it, if we have this chance, uh, it will be our moment. So you enjoy it more. So no, I feel more relaxed, of course, in penalties. So check your 11 or 12 season. What was your best and worst moments? Best day? Uh, is when we won the the three cups 2015 15, mm -hmm. 15 2015 so i think this was the best year uh, for all of us mm -hmm. for me included because mm -hmm. i got many awards mm -hmm. uh, personally so this was the best and the worst one i will go really really close this one uh, so i can say 2020 until now and i hope it will end as soon as possible. So, you are now 35 or 36, I guess? 35, don't go. Don't rush. <laughs> don't rush, 35. <laughs> no, no. So, let me know your plans for the following years. What would you like to do? You, want, you would like to do as a goalkeeper or no, Denise, I pass it, I'm going to be a trainer or would you like to stay in Turkey as a trainer? Well, I still don't have any serious plan. Uh, for sure, when I finish football, I would like to have some free days. Uh, you know, it was uh, really hard with the national team, mm -hmm. with Galatasaray, mm -hmm. a lot of flights, long one. Yes. And uh, this makes you tired, you know. But uh, thanks to God, I l had lived a lot of moments that I will never forget. I don't know, my plans are for a short period, you mm -hmm. know, for the future. We well, never know. In your, like 12 years, maybe you would like to stay in Turkey. You know, yeah, the fans, why not? Star they love you yes, so much and they not? want to see you. Why not? Why not? You know, we have uh, all my families in Uruguay, uh, my friends, everybody's there. So, but uh, of course, it's a, it's a country that loves me. I love them. My two kids was born here. They give Turkey give me everything, give me everything, and I am so happy here. So let's see what's going on in the future. All right, and. The last and the best question. What would you like to say about our Taraftar? Our <laughs> fans? You seem Taraftar. I always say it. Take, uh, take it easy. Uh, Please uh, speak in Turkish. Impossible. No, no, no. no. You, I, I know. I know. You can <laughs> speak Turkish. Come on. I only can say. Say something in Turkish. They all wait you, you know. Bisim onin kinci uyuncu. I always say, no, they say are, something uh, in Turkish, please. To talk but it's, the, it's, it's really hard, you know, it's really difficult. I can understand. Whenever you speak, 75% I understand. But to speak Turkish, oh, Come on. it's really, really, Come really on, hard. Try your best. I can play, you know, I can play, I can make some jokes, but my grammatic for sure will be horrible. Are amazing, you mm -hmm. know. I think in the three or four games before, I thanks to them. 
mm -hmm. because even in the bad situation, they came to the stadium, yes. they support, they are behind of us, and not every club has this kind of fans. I am so happy for, for them to be with us in every moment, mm -hmm. not only when everything is going good, mm -hmm. but when the things are going wrong, uh, you have the support of them. And, uh, of course, not only me, but many, many big players who play in the arena. They say uh, that Galatasaray fans are really amazing. They show it. So I would like to thank them every time and uh, for the support, for being there behind of us. Uh, we have many new players who never been in uh, 60,000 yes. 60, crazy fans yeah, people, yes, you know, because fans, it's not yeah. only to be a fan of Galatasaray. Yes. Yes. They really feel it from inside and, and they make you feel it. So they are the, I say it always, our number 12 player. Nelson too. So my question is not for this season. Just think about like twelve season. Who is the most aggressive player in your term in your twelve season you ever seen? Felipe Melo. And who was the funniest guy? Oh, funny you ever the, seen? a lot. Colin Kasim, Marcao, oof, many. Albert Riera, Sabri, and Gimbaitar, Hakan Balta. Yeah, you don't know what is him inside <laughs> of the inside of the dressing room. People change. Who was? the calmest person. Elmander, Selchuk, Ufalushi. And he was the serious guy. I know you are serious. After me, yeah, I cannot say my name. The serious one. Now I would like to say one recently, one really serious and mm -hmm. hard worker is uh, Omar. Who is the shyest person? I don't know. I cannot say one because whenever I remember one, you know, it's a young one. So because the young, I mean the groups, all, the, all of the players I play with, they make them feel so comfort. So now I can tell you, Kerem is uh, really young. No, no, no, yeah, not shy, but really young. But he's our star, so he's working hard. We make him feel good. So now young players, they don't come anymore like before. Really, really shy. I cannot say one. Let's, I will say that I saw him right now, Osan Kabak. And who is so talkative, so talks too much? Patrick Nelson is one of them. Those time Schneider. Who eats so much? I will say one of my partners, Ismail Chipper. I would like to eat like him and have his power and body because he's amazing. Except you, he is the most hard worker person. I know that you are a very hard worker person, <laughs> but except you. From those times, I will say Ufalushi, Selchuk, Burak, Burak Ilmaz, Omar, Marcao, Nelson, uh, Omer Bayram, Kerem is working so hard, Emre Kilinch. Can you name me who is the laziest guy? I have one, and yes. Nelson say it already. <laughs> All right. Pur Halil. He is the one. <laughs> Khalil is the lazy one. Who is always on time? Babel, Omar, Patrick. They are the guys who I first see. Even they come sometime before than me. I saw even now Omar is doing something inside. These are the guys who come early. I'm asking you quick questions. Are you ready? Estos <laughs> listo. Let's see, let's see. Morning training, afternoon training. Morning. Staying at home, going outside. Home. Action movies, scary movies? No, funny movies. Champion League or Copa America? Uh, both. Can I? Yes. <laughs> okay, both of them. Summertime holiday, wintertime holiday? Summertime. Rice or potato? Potato. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Buenos Aires or Istanbul? Istanbul. Old fashion, new fashion? In between. Fast food or homemade food? No, homemade. Sleeping or waking up early? Waking up early. Three defender or four defender? I'm all styles of four defenders. South America or Europe? South America. Espresso or latte? Espresso. Stick or chicken? No, stick. Stick. Man-to-man -man defense or area defense? Oh! I like to give responsibilities on man-to-man. Schmeichel or Oliver Kahn? Wow. Yes. Choose it. Choose it. <laughs> they are the same period, so I will say Tafarel. I know you. <laughs> I, that's why I choose it. You know, that's why I say it. You, I know you, you're gonna choose tougher, but Schmeichel okay. or Oliver Kahn? Uh, Schmeichel. A hard question. All right, Nando. 
Let's don't, see. Don't push yourself. So okay. Long. Yellow or red? <laughs> red. <laughs> The last part, I give you some words and you're gonna say what you feel about that, okay? Buenos Aires. It's the bird city. Uruguay. Life. Istanbul. Ooh, life. Your green jersey. Unique. World Cup. Dream. Champions League. <laughs> Another dream. dream. National team. Dream come true. Instagram. Social media. Happiness. The best. Nervous. Before the game. Derbies. Amazing feelings. Penalties. Relax. Free kicks. Nice. Doesn't count. <laughs> Baklava. This is my word. Oof. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Kebab. Donet is one. Home. My place to be. Taraftar. Number 12 player. Galatasaray. My home. My home. My home. Well done. Everything is good. Oh